in this question you have to find potential at this center and corner of a square sheet with uniform surface charge density sigma so suppose this is a uniformly charged square sheet of sigma density and you have to find potential due to this uh, charge distribution at uh, the center and the corner point of this uh, square of side A. so let's see how to proceed so let us first find the potential at the corner of an isosceles triangle so how come isosceles triangle so if you divide this uh, square sheet like this so there will be four isosceles triangle so this is one of the isosceles triangle this is the similar isosceles triangle so i am dividing it in four isosceles triangle and for each isosceles triangle this point at this point we need to find the potential so let us first find the potential due to this kind of triangle here and for that you can divide this triangle into rectangular strips and this rectangular strip will be <coughs> acting like wire okay so this is like a wire and for a wire we need to find potential at this point so this angle is 90 degree so i am taking a wire separately here of lambda linear charge density and uh, this angle is 90 degree and at a distance r we have to find the potential so for that we have to take element on this wire so i am going from here y distance and then dy and uh, due to this charge this elemental charge i need to write the potential here so this is obviously like a point charge and for point charge we know the potential that is kq by r so k is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught charge is lambda dy and distance is under root r square plus y square so now you can put y is equal to r tan theta from this triangle and y is r tan theta here and dy will be r sec square theta d theta now you can take uh, this terms as common and uh, integrating from minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 because these angles are pi by 4 and theta is measured like this so for this points uh, you have to go like this and this direction will be negative so this is minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4 and uh, you can also do one thing you can uh, take limits from 0 to pi by 4 and uh, do the twice of it okay so then you can double the result of this if you are doing from 0 to pi by 4 so i am going from 0 to pi by 4 and uh, doubling the result so this 4 will become 2 here okay after multiplying with 2 and it will be sec theta d theta sec theta d theta integration is then sec theta plus tan theta so now you can put the limits so if you put pi by 4 here it will be root 2 if you put uh, pi by 4 here it will be 1 so it is root 2 plus 1 and if you put 0 so sec 0 is 1 and tan 0 is 0 so finally uh, this is the answer of potential due to this kind of wire at this particular location okay so just keep in mind this result lambda upon 2 pi epsilon naught and then root 2 plus 1 I, I will be using this result further so let's go so now uh, we have a wire like this elemental wire and uh, due to this wire I can write the potential at this point suppose this distance is y so now first find the lambda lambda uh, equivalent lambda for this kind of element so lambda is charge per unit length of this element suppose the length is b so what is the charge charge is sigma multiplied by the area b dy divided by b so b will be cancelled here and lambda is equal to sigma dy so now make the expression of potential at this location due to this element it is dv dv is lambda upon 2 pi epsilon lambda is this much and uh, this is the thing and then root 2 plus 1 now uh, constant terms you can take out and only uh, you will have dy in the integration okay so dy integration obviously uh, it is 0 to h okay so 0 to h and this will be finally h so potential due to this kind of uh, isolus triangle of height h at the corner is equal to sigma is divided by 2 by epsilon naught and root 2 plus 1 so let's go further I will be using method number 2 so in method number 1 we have taken a wire and calculated for wire separately then use that result now I will be using double integration to find potential at the corner of this isolus triangle so this is the perpendicular this is the angle bisector okay so this is the angle bisector and from here uh, I am taking element like this theta and then d theta okay and this is uh, the element I am taking here from at a distance r dr length and this uh, arc length will be r d theta so this is having area dr multiplied by r d theta okay so I am taking this uh, element and for this element uh, it is kq by r potential is kq by r so k is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught and charge is sigma multiplied by this uh, area area is r d theta into dr 
and what is the distance of this element from this corner point this is r so divided by r so this is the potential due to this element okay so now let's integrate and obviously uh, there are two differentials here dr d theta so we have double integration so what is the limit of r limit of uh, r so this is the total length okay so this is at a distance at a angle theta this is the total length and this total length is uh, h by cos theta okay h sec theta or h by cos theta so we have to take the limit of r from 0 to h cos h by cos theta and theta is obviously from minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4 so now i am doubling the result of 0 to pi by 4 and h upon cos theta uh, this integration is very simple it will become uh, h upon cos theta and now sec theta d theta everything will come out and uh, sec theta d theta integration is ln sec theta plus tan theta as we have discussed earlier so this is the same result we are getting from this method also so we will use this method to find the potential due to square plate okay so let's go further so now this is the square and for this square i need to find potential at its uh, center so uh, i've divided it in four triangles like this and uh, height here is a by 2 so in case of h i will put a by 2 and uh, such triangles uh, are four in number there are four triangles like this so it is 4 multiplied by this thing h is a by 2 so this is the potential at this center okay so this is the result potential at the center now we have to find the potential at the corner okay so let's see what we are doing here so for potential at the corner we will use scaling and dimensional analysis so potential if you want to find potential uh, at any point let's say at the center okay so potential will have this kind of terms so 1 upon epsilon naught charge upon some distance term whenever we find charge so charge is uh, sigma multiplied by some area there will be some numerical factors so i am using proportionality only so you will get this kind of terms and some numerical factors and distance whenever we write distance so distance will involve terms of a okay so i am writing all this for a, a square of side a, okay a square of side a i am writing all this for that square and for a square of side a v is proportional to a so if for a square of side a potential at the center is let's say v naught suppose then if i take the side 2a with the same density uh, side 2a with the same density sigma okay so obviously uh, if other things are kept constant so v is directly proportional to the side so for a 2a side for 2a side uh, square the potential at the center is 2 v naught okay so if it is v naught for side a it will be 2 v naught for side 2a now you can divide this uh, square of 2a side in four parts or every square each square will be of a side okay so a side is square there are four squares like this and for these squares this is the corner point okay so for these four squares this is the corner point and now if you want to find uh, contribution of each square at point two okay so every each square will be contributing equally so total potential at the center is 2 v naught and each square is contributing 2 v naught by 4 this is v naught by 2 and essentially this is the potential at the corner uh, of a square with side a okay so this square of side a having uh, is producing this much potential v naught by 2 so potential at the corner of uh, side a square is v naught by 2 which is equal to this we know the v naught okay so v naught is uh, basically this value and you have to divide it by 2 here okay so it is sigma a by 2 pi epsilon naught and then root 2 plus 1 so this is the potential at the corner of a square of side a 